Hey there. I'm here to, uh... Oh, wow. You look nice. I mean, really nice. I, uh... I hope you weren't expecting me to take you someplace fancy. I mean, there really aren't any fancy places in a backwater outpost like this, anyway. <laughs> ah, don't get me wrong. If you want to dress up, by all means, dress up. I'm not complaining. There's uh, not a lot to do around here, so I settled on a picnic. Maybe that's a bit tacky, but, uh, well, I figured I shouldn't just take you to the same tavern you go to every day, right? <laughs> that's a terrible first date. So, uh, come on. I'll show you the spot I found. So, uh, how have things been for you, huh, in the... In the past 24 hours? <laughs> Having any trouble with the locals? You, uh, you should be fine now that word's spread around that we're acquainted, but, uh, but you let me know if someone does anything stupid, huh? It's really a shame. All the things I like about you, how you're all gentle and sweet and soft. <laughs> Those are all the things that can make you a target. I guess you'll just have to stick around me, huh? <laughs> hey, is uh, everything okay? I, I know you're always a bit quiet, but uh, not usually this quiet. Do you... Uh, you want to talk about it? You're nervous? Ha! <laughs> Why? We've been spending time at the tavern together almost daily. All that's changed is the location. Besides, I'm easy to please. All you gotta do is smile at me, and it makes my whole night. <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> You're almost too cute to handle, you know that? Not that I'm not gonna try. <laughs> ah, that's all right. <laughs> You're cute when you're nervous, too. I laugh, but uh, honestly, I'm flattered that this night is so important to you. You wouldn't be anxious if you didn't care about me, right? So, do me a favor. Don't sweat it so much. All you need to do tonight is uh, relax and enjoy yourself. I'll worry about making things go smoothly, huh? Ah, we made it. <clears throat> Finally here. Sorry about the walk, but, uh, you know, there's only a handful of good spots for a picnic in these parts, uh, being a swamp and all. Hang on, I'll set things up for us. There we go. After you. It's an awfully nice view, ain't it? I could just watch it for hours. Hmm? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the landscape's okay, too. <laughs> I guess. Ah, all right, so I'm a bit corny. But, uh, you know, you like me anyway. Oh, right, the food. <laughs> Sorry. I just get so distracted looking into those eyes of yours, you know? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll lay off. For now. Here, uh, I got venison sandwiches. Roasted vegetables, elderberry wine, a whole spread. There's also apple tarts for dessert, <laughs> Oh, uh, nah, I didn't really make any of this. It's, uh, flattering you think I could, but, uh, but no. Well, I, uh, technically I hunted the deer, but, uh, that's all, really. You know that, uh, you know that one elf fella that always sits in the corner at the tavern? Yeah, he owed me a favor. Not very romantic, I know, but, uh, well... I'm guessing you'd rather have something edible. I'm not much of a cook, sadly. If you want something with the consistency of granite, I'm your girl. But uh, otherwise, me and cooking, we don't mix. Anyway, <laughs> I hope it's good, huh? Not bad? I'd say it's about as good as you could expect, given what little you had to work with, huh? What do you think? Good, I'm glad you like it. 
There's not much that's better than good food and good company, eh? Ah, oh, except good booze. <laughs> Here, let me, uh, let me pour you a glass. Ah, I'd say you're looking a bit more comfortable now, huh? I told you, didn't I? There's not much that a meal and drink won't help. Huh? Oh. It's because you, uh, feel safe around me, huh? <laughs> wow, that, uh, that actually means a lot, you know? When we first spoke, there was a point where I was sure I'd scared you away. <laughs> Being big and muscular and intimidating has usually worked out in my favor, but, uh, I'd never want to make you feel afraid. Ooh, there's a cold breeze blowing through, huh? I guess this area can get kind of windy. If, uh, if you want, you could always, uh, sidle up to me a little. You know, uh, sit a bit closer for, for warmth and all that, you know, nothing, nothing untoward. <laughs> what? No, of course I didn't plan it that way. I mean, not exactly. I mean, well, are you going to scooch over or what? <laughs> there we go. Ah, <sighs> if nothing else, at least I make a good wind block. <laughs> Although it's sort of a shame, I, uh, I kind of like the way your hair looks when it blows in the wind. You know, when you think about it, we, uh, haven't really known each other for that long. But I already feel like I've known you my whole life. I, uh, I hope it's not just me that feels that way. Really? Oh, I'm glad. Hey, you, uh... You still look a little cold. Come here, uh, under my arm. I'll keep you warm. Aw, oh, gee, <laughs> are, are you blushing? Aw, that's so cute. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever blushed over me before. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, really. I've spent my whole life around tough guys, you know? It's really refreshing to get to know somebody who can be a little, uh, vulnerable. You just act how you feel. None of that posturing and chest beating. I'll admit, I, I still do a bit of that even when I'm around you. It's, uh, it's a pretty hard habit to shake, huh? Everyone has weaknesses, but uh, when you're raised by orcs, you can't ever really show them. You know, one time, just after my coming-of-age ritual, I, uh, I let it slip that I was nervous around heights. Suddenly, everyone was taking any excuse they could to get me up into high places. <laughs> they meant well, really, wanted me to be brave, but, uh, well, you know, not really a fan of being winched up into some trees, dangled from cliff faces, <laughs> that kind of thing. From then on, I never wanted to admit being even slightly nervous. Uh, which is why, uh, well, I, uh, I got a little confession. <laughs> no, no, it's nothing bad. I, uh, well, the truth is, uh, I was nervous about this date, too, actually. <laughs> really unbelievably nervous. I keep thinking that I'm going to make you think I'm an idiot or a brute. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm both. But I don't want to make it so obvious, you know? Wouldn't want it to be a deal breaker. Thanks. It's, uh, it's funny how I feel stronger just talking to you than I do bashing heads in the tavern. That's why I just, uh, had to tell you. And, uh, well, I, I, uh, I, I want to have you. I mean, well, that sounds weird. I mean, I want to keep you. I, I mean, not like a, a collectible or, or a trophy or anything. I, I, uh, ah, damn it, I'm borking this. Um, what I mean is I, uh, 
Well, I know we haven't known each other long, but I already can't imagine not having you in my life. Not being with you. You make me want to carry you far away where no one could ever find us. Just you and me and, uh... Oh, <laughs> wait, that, uh, that came out a little wrong. <laughs> I, uh, I don't mean I'm gonna kidnap you, uh, unless you want me to. Uh, I guess a little wine is all it takes to trash what little tact I have, huh? But you get what I'm saying, right? Good, good. That's another thing I like about you. You're really trusting. I mean that in a way that doesn't sound weird. I'm not calling you gullible. <laughs> I just mean I, I... I'm lucky to have someone who doesn't assume I'm gonna gut him the first chance I get. Truth be told, there's lots of reasons I'm lucky to have you. You, uh... You listen to me? You, you comfort me. You, you treat me like I'm not just some... thug, you know? Sometimes I think you give me more than I give you. Well, yeah, I do protect you. But I want to do more, and, and I want to work on that. So, don't be shy about asking me for things, yeah? I, I can be kind of thick, so you might need to spell out your needs for me. But I'll do my best to be there for you any way I can. Day or night, night or day, all the times of a day. You get it. <laughs> but, uh, well, there is one thing I wanted to give you, right now, if you don't mind. <laughs> the, uh, the night we first met, you, you kissed me, remember? Only fair you get one back, right? Ah. <laughs> <sighs> So, uh, do you, do you mind if we just sit here a bit, huh? I'll take you home whenever you're ready, but, but for now, I, uh, I just like to be near you. Well, thanks. It means a lot to me that you, that you trust me not to accidentally crush you and whatever. <laughs> And, uh, it ain't just that, either. You mean a lot to me. Hey there! Sorry I'm late. <laughs> I ran into a couple of punks who were harassing someone. Had to knock some heads, you know? <laughs> oh, hey! Did you order for me? Thanks. <laughs> I guess you've spent enough time around me to know what I like, huh? Ah, man, it's been a while, huh? I mean, about a week. I gotta admit, I've gotten really used to having you around. This place is always so noisy, but, uh... Somehow it seems real quiet when you're not here. Ah, sorry, sorry. I'm not trying to guilt trip you into spending all your time around my sorry mug. Anyway, how was your trip, huh? Your, uh, your parents doing well? Great. I, uh, I'm sorry to hear you thought they wouldn't like me. I, I get it, though. I, I, I'm big and I'm muscular and I'm green and I don't cook. Bad at cleaning. I don't really wear pretty dresses or anything like that. <laughs> well, I, I'm a lot, you know. But uh, I think that's all right, huh? I uh, I just got to prove I can take care of you, and, and, and I'm sure they'll come around. And I mean, if they don't, well, not like they can do anything about it. <laughs> I hope. Say, your folks aren't the kind of people who'd uh, hire a mercenary to try and kill me, are they? Huh? Maybe. I don't like that answer. Well, it's all right. <laughs> I'll adjust. So long as they don't send a whole league of assassins after me, I can probably handle it, right? Oh, well. <laughs> ah. 
sort of an orc thing, you know? Orc courtship usually involves someone getting clobbered, so uh, the loser's parents usually ain't too thrilled, you know? I was always prepared for resentful in-laws. Ah, sorry. <laughs> not in-laws. <laughs> At least, not yet. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna make me blush. Oh, but listen. While you were gone, I, uh, I got some great news. Yeah, I got contacted by the mayor, if you can believe it. <laughs> I know. I didn't know we had a mayor either. <laughs> the guy's so skittish, he basically never leaves his house. But uh, apparently somewhere along the way, he developed a bit of a spine and uh, wants to make some changes. <laughs> Imagine that. Government. That works. <laughs> Who ever heard of such a thing, huh? Well, anyway, <clears throat> not to toot my own horn, but uh, he wants me to be captain of a village watch. Yeah, he heard I tend to keep the local knuckleheads under control, so uh, he thought I ought to be paid for it. <laughs> Imagine, a steady gig, making gold, busting heads. Huh. I was made for this. Oh, oh yeah. Up until this point, I've uh, I just sort of been scraping by on the odd freelance bodyguard gig or uh, group of adventurers, you know. But just think of it. A steady job. And he'd be doing what already comes natural. <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am. I'll finally be able to spoil you a little bit. <laughs> you deserve nice things, and uh, I've always wished I could be more of a provider. Hey, you okay? I thought this news would make you happy. What's up, huh? Did... Did something happen during your trip or something? Ah, oh, come on, don't you want to talk about it? You know, I'm always happy to listen. Ah, <sighs> well... I guess I won't force you if you refuse, but, uh... I'm definitely not gonna just let you stay sad. <laughs> I can't stand to see that frown not upside down. Come here. <laughs> ah, that never fails to get a smile out of you. I love that grin of yours. The world is stupid sometimes, but uh, seeing you smile always makes it seem less so. Ah, you know me. Can't go a single day without saying something corny. But listen, things are going to be a lot better from now on. With the money I'll be getting, I'll, I'll be able to get us both better clothes, uh, better food, all sorts of things. We can... Ah, uh, sorry, are, uh, are you okay? What was that? I, I didn't grab your shoulder that hard, or... Are you hurt? Here, let me see it. Ah, oh, come on, please let me see it. Actually, you know what? No, I I'm sorry, but this time I'm not asking. I I'm taking a look. Ugh. That is one nasty bruise. How did this happen? No, no, you didn't fall. I've been in enough fights to recognize the aftermath of a scrap. What was it, huh? A mace? A cudgel? Who did this to you? Well, yeah, I'm gonna fight him. What do you think? Ah, uh, it was Gorgoth, wasn't it, huh? The Minotaur? Oh, I was right when he was passing by that you got quiet. Uh, I'll be right back. Hey! Beef for brains! Come here! Damn stupid cow. You know, he acts tough with his pals around, but none of them are any good in a fight. Huh. Figures a minotaur would be full of bullshit, huh? So? What happened? Why did you keep quiet? You know I'm here to protect you. 
What? And you believed him? Nobody in this place can beat me. If anyone tells you they'll hurt me or you if you say anything, it's because they're scared of me finding out. You understand? Good. So, uh, why did he hurt you anyhow? Ah. Huh. Figures. So, he couldn't get back at me for kicking him out of the bar that one time, so he went after you because we're together, huh? Ah, I'm, I'm real sorry you got hurt because of me. You know, uh, I I've been thinking about this lately. I'm doing my best to keep you safe, but, but you really don't belong in such a rough town as this one. And after this, I, uh, I'm not really sure this is the right place for you. No, 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 no. That ain't what I mean. I I don't ever want to be apart from you. I, uh, what I'm saying is I, I think we should both move somewhere a little more, a little more, uh, well, civilized. If you like, we could uh, move near your family. That area is a lot more, uh, well, upscale than I'm used to, but uh, it's nice and safe. Ruffians don't stick around there very long. Or we could always head to the big city. There are lots of opportunities for work there for, for both of us. Rural's an option too, I guess. Uh, we, we could choose a nice, quiet town. Not like this one, obviously. <laughs> the only reason things are so rough around these parts is because of the swamp. It's so hard to get through it that most authorities won't bother chasing a criminal through the swamp. I mean, yeah. I won't lie. I'm real bummed about not being able to take the job as captain of the guard. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I could protect you through my reputation. And that getting the job would boost that reputation even more. But... If there's people who are willing to take a shot at you regardless, then, uh, well, it's clear my reputation ain't enough. And, you know, I, well, aside from that, I, I never really lived in a peaceful place before. I grew up in the Orc homeland, where fights happen every day. When I left, I, I came here where it's barely any better. Main reason I picked such a dangerous, out-of-the-way spot is because, well, I, I, I was nervous about what would happen if I lived somewhere where fighting ain't okay. You know? Stick to what you know, right? <laughs> so, uh, I'm a little antsy about the idea. I, I won't lie to you. But I'd do anything to make sure you're safe and happy. I'd fight anyone or, or even... Well, fight no one. No, no, it's it's fine, really. I'll, I'll wear pretty dresses and, and always leave my axe at home and and uh, I, I'll learn to use the right fork and I, I might even try. Uh, ah, gee, what else can I do? I'll uh, I'll even take elocution lessons and and uh, learn to talk like a lady, like. Uh, Ah, uh, what a lady sound like, uh, well, not like this, clearly. Uh, why, yes, my lady Crumplebottom, I would love a cup of tea. Two lumps. <laughs> sugar, not the, uh, violent kind. That's, uh, that's how ladies do it, right? I'll work on it. <laughs> I'll work on it. Uh, that's fine, really, it is. I, uh, well, I love you. No matter where we go or what we do, uh, I'll always be happier if you're happy, too. I'm not actually all that attached to this place, really. I, uh, I guess I'm just afraid of change, you know? I figured if I mostly fit into the Orc homeland, I'd, I'd better fit in somewhere... 
kind of like it. Ah, uh, oh, come on, you gotta believe me. I, I want this. Nothing will make me happier than making sure you're safe. When I first met you, I told you that I'd protect you. I don't plan to ever back down on that promise. So, here's what I think we should do, okay? I'll tell the mayor I'll stay long enough to train someone to take my spot as captain, right? The money I get from that should be enough to get us started somewhere else. Maybe not a house or a farm or anything, but uh, it'll get us to a new place and uh, let us not starve for a while. We can find somewhere that'll fit us both better. How's that sound, huh? I, I don't want to force anything on you, obviously, but... Well... What do you think, huh? Yeah? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. In that case, we should both start saving up and get ready, huh? Take some time to think about where you'd like to live. But for now, eh, let's get another round of drinks, huh? Ah. To a new life. Hi, love. How was your trip? Good. Hey, uh, how long has it been since you've been able to visit your family, huh? I bet they were real happy to see you. Wow, that long, huh? Are you, uh... Well, are you sure you're all right with being this far away from them? I mean, we're way, way closer than we used to be, but, uh... It's still a three-day round trip. I'd hate to think you weren't getting to see as much of them as you'd want to. Huh. Nah, I get that. It's good to have a bit of space sometimes. To be able to live your own life, right? Was that part of the reason why you moved so far away in the first place? Yeah, kind of the same for me, really. A young orc needs to go out and forge their own destiny. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> I guess humans are the same, huh? <laughs> hmm? Oh, me, yeah. Well, ah, if you want to know what I've been up to, uh, well, you're going to have to sit down for this. Brace yourself. <laughs> nah, no. I didn't knock somebody out again. Well, I mean, that that's not the news I was talking about. All right, you ready? Here we go. I have an actual permanent job already. Ha! I know, I wasn't expecting it either. I thought I'd be stuck doing bodyguard gigs for merchants for at least a year before someone would take me in. And get this. <laughs> They're not even hiring me to scare people off. Or, well, <laughs> not just to scare people off. <laughs> I got hired by a blacksmith. Yeah, it's like a real trade and everything, huh? I mean, he does want me to guard the shop, but uh, I'm gonna haul materials and, and all kinds of stuff. And, and best of all, <laughs> get this. He said he'd teach me a bit of blacksmithing. Ain't that great? Depending on how well I do, and, and if I accidentally burn down the shop, I, uh, I could even get to be an assistant instead. I know. I didn't think I'd ever get to be anything other than hired muscle. Most orcs don't get to pick up trades, you know? It ain't that I dislike busting heads, you know that, but, uh... Well, I... I just didn't think anyone would ever think more of me than that. Well, other than you, I mean. You, uh... You've always been able to see me better. See my, uh, potential. Ah, I've been really surprised by the people out here. I thought I knew what humans were like after meeting the ones in our last home. Crafty, greedy, clannish. Not all that different from orcs. I guess that was a mistake, thinking I could know how thousands of people live their lives after seeing a few dozen all in one little place. After all, uh, after I met you, I found out humans could be different. And, uh, 
Well, until we moved, you were the only human I knew like you. Soft, kind, sensitive. So, uh, well, then I assumed all the humans in the nicer parts of the world were like you, but, uh, but, you know, now that I've been living out here, I, I figured out that you, well, you're special. There ain't anyone human or anything else that's quite like you. Nah, I mean it. Like, well, you were a bit wary of me when we first met, but, uh, I mean, I came on pretty strong. And, and you listened to me. You, you thought about what I was saying. People here, well, they're nice enough, but they assume I'm not smart enough to know better than them about anything. Nah, nah, it's, it's not a big deal, and, and it's an improvement over the last place, huh? Just here, it's stuff like, uh, well, if, if someone asks me for directions, uh, but I don't sound right to them, they, they say I must be confused, uh, even if I tell them I live just down the street from the place they were asking about. They, uh, they're never quite impolite, but, uh, well, they ain't exactly kind, you know? But trust me, that's, that's nothing compared to how folks were in the last town. <laughs> I mean, you saw it, right? People listened, but uh, only if they were trying to size you up. Decide if you were an easy target. Hopefully, someday, folks around here will understand me better. Understand all orcs better. I mean... Until then, I'd rather be underestimated than constantly on guard, at least. But, but hey, forget that. I, I was trying to talk about you. You're not like these people. You always paid attention. And, uh, y you know what else? You're a lot braver. N not like the knuckleheads in that last town. They, they were just stupid because they didn't know how to be scared of things. The folks here are scared of plenty of things, but uh, they just avoid them. Cross the street to not meet them, you know, that kind of thing. You, though, well, you do what has to be done, even when you're scared. I know you put on a brave face for a long time because you didn't want me to worry, and... Well, that's really something. It's actually one of the best things about you. And, and the thing that makes you stand out the most. You just... You care so much. Everyone else here more or less minds their own business, you know? You do get the occasional people who are generous or kind, or understanding... Like, uh, that blacksmith. But it's only to a point. But you? You care like nobody else. You put other people's needs first. Huh? Nah, that ain't all of it. <laughs> There's lots of other things I like about you. Like, uh... <laughs> like the face you make when you're eating something you really like. No, no, it's so cute. <laughs> you, you get so into it, like you're focusing everything you have on the plate in front of you. Or how about your eyes? They're just so, uh... Well, I never really understood how eyes could be deep until I saw yours. Now, I don't know how to describe what it means, but just, uh... Yeah. There's a million things about you. And I love all of them. Makes me realize just how lucky I am to have run into you. I mean, uh, who would ever expect an orc like me to end up with a human like you, huh? You're just, well, you're kind of out of my league, if we're being honest. Even if I wasn't big and green. <laughs> you're smart, kind, cultured, all that. Here I am, barely able to read. 
no table manners, and, uh, I don't even know any trade skills. Oh, that's about to change, finally. <laughs> I, uh, I hope I'll make you proud of me. <laughs> Aw, thanks. <laughs> I'm glad someone thinks highly of me. It means a lot that you always have such nice things to say about me. You, uh, you really changed my whole life, you know? I thought I'd be hired muscle in that backwater town for the rest of my life. I wouldn't be the first person that it happened to. And really, I... Well, I didn't think I wanted anything more than that. Or that I deserved anything more than that. Life was fine, but, uh... Ah, I realized just how much more there was when we met. You made me want to be better, do more, accomplish more. Suddenly working to earn money for my next drink wasn't enough. I, uh, I started thinking about the future, about what I'd need to do so that I could be, well, good enough to deserve you. Nah, but really, honest. I want to be my very best for you. You just make me so happy. So I got to make sure that I make you just as happy. It's only fair, right? And uh, orcs always make good on their bets. <laughs> or is that blood feuds? Well, let's say it's debts. <laughs> so uh, now that you're back and uh, I'm going to start earning more money, I was thinking, we should splurge on a real nice romantic dinner, huh? The sort of thing we wouldn't have been able to do before. Any thoughts? Nah, really, I'm totally serious. Best thing I was ever able to do for you before was that picnic, which, uh, well, was nice, but mostly because you were there. The food was okay, and, and the ants weren't too hard to contend with, but, uh... Well, you deserve something that's really, actually fancy and, and delicious. <laughs> oh, sure. We can look around town sometime soon, uh, see what there is. I don't really think I'd be the best judge of what's good and what's not. Uh, so we should probably go off your opinion, right? You know all kinds of classy things. Besides, I'd offer a home-cooked meal, but, uh, well, we both know I wouldn't be the one who cooks it. <laughs> I'm trying to get better, but uh, I'm not really there yet. Remember last time? <laughs> yeah. In hindsight, I don't really know why I thought all the stuff would go well together just because they all started with R. <laughs> Guess I figured the spices had to be on the shelf next to each other for some reason. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what do you want to do now that you're home? Oh, a, a reading lesson? Are, are you sure? I know I need to start learning some of the fancier words, but, uh, are you sure you don't want to relax after your trip? Yeah? Well, okay. Ah, let me go get the book. 